All over the United States, people with family members in Haiti are desperately waiting for news of their loved ones. Normie Jasmine, the mayor of Spring Valley, New York, has heard nothing from her husband, Ronald, who has been in Haiti for the past two weeks. Mayor Jasmine is here along with her sons, Ashley and Leonardo. Thank you all for taking the time Thanks to come by. Thanks for having me, Larry. So your husband goes there. You have a home there. Yes. He went to work on the home. Yes. Before the earthquake happened, you were in touch with him? Yes, a couple of days before the earthquake, uh, he called me and said that uh, he's finalized things, do a little touch up in the house because I just came from an intense election and he wants me to have a relaxed time in Haiti. So he was preparing things for me down there. Right. You have other family members down there as well? I have in-laws uh, down there. I have my nephews and uh, my, my husband's side. We have some uh, brothers and sisters there. And what happens when you try to call? I tried to call since uh, the day that happened around like five o'clock when I received the news in my office and I kept calling uh, until today we, we haven't had a chance to get in touch with them and uh, yesterday they told me that they will work on to establish the commu communication line there in Haiti. So far there's no luck on, on how we're going to get in touch. If I don't hear from him today so I will make plans to travel to Haiti. Make plans to travel down. Yes. How frustrating is this for you? Because your story is exactly the same as every other Haitian American who's trying to get in touch with their loved ones back home. Absolutely. Uh, I'm frustrated now. And uh, at this present time, I have another task to fulfill. And I'm playing uh, a different role as a mother. And I'm wearing uh, many hats and juggle many balls at once. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's become frustrating for me to not hearing from him. And uh, the situation there, it's devastated, as you can see on TV, all the pictures they've been showing, it's its very touchy. And last night, I was thinking about my husband, and I can hear his voice and uh, the laughter we had before and so many uh, good years of uh, a, uh, great memories that we have there. I'm hoping he's okay. Mm -hmm. And for my kids, so we've been together a, uh, a coping with this uh, situation uh, in yeah. Haiti. Yeah. Thank you for coming in to share your story. We wish you nothing but the best. Stay strong for your mom, okay guys? Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much, All Harry, right. for having us. Appreciate it.